After the tributes to Poincaré and Duffing, we have a contemporary scientist, which of course poses a number of problems because uh, one is conditioned by different viewpoints, personal knowledge, human preferences, and there is an absence of historical perspective, which of course uh, entails some problems. Several younger colleagues mentored by Nafi could have report, could report better than me due to, the, to a tighter acquaintance. Uh, some of them are here, like Bala Balachandra and Mohammed Yunis and so on. Yet uh, some, somehow external and hopefully more mature perspective could also be useful to the scope of a more independent tribute, although this is not f fully neutral because actually because actually I was in contact with Ali for about three decades upon learning the fundamentals of perturbation methods and nonlinear oscillations through his books and journal papers. Here is a number of, uh, is listed a number of uh, events, situations in which Ali was involved with Italy and Italian people for a long time. Uh, this is the outline of my presentation, something very short on NAFI's life, publication and achievements because these things uh, have been recently, um, are, are available on, on some obituaries that have been written uh, recently in, uh, in journals. Then I will make an attempt to, to frame his research activity within stages of development of nonlinear dynamics in mechanics, in mechanics. I will deal a little bit with uh, his books and then some conclusions and personal reminders. Um, this is Ali. Um, he was, uh, he was uh, brilliant already in, the, in high school here, but in Palestine there were a number of problems. So he worked for 10 years as a teacher of mathematics in remote villages and towns. Then in very few years, he went from, the, from, uh, from a junior college in five years to PhD in aeronautics and astronautics. Uh, he was always at Virginia Tech. All of us, we know that he wrote 10 books in nonlinear dynamics and perturbation, translated in several, in several languages, more than nearly 500 articles, two big journals founded, about 70 PhD students advised, 13 conferences held at Virginia Tech, three honorary doctorates, and in an incredible number of awards culminating in this Benjamin Franklin Medal in Mechanical Engineering, highest award in engineering for developing novel methods to, com to model complex engineering system in structural dynamics, acoustics, fluid mechanics, and electromechanical systems. Then he contributed a lot to the development of science in the Arab world. He, was, uh, he had an exhaustive, in, inexhaustible energy and deep desire for knowledge, was a brilliant scientist, a distinguished teacher, an inspiring motivator, an amazing and lovely human, as Mohammed Yunis said in his obituary. Trying to, to, be, uh, to give something, to, to say something more, one, one could say that uh, as a scientist and a scholar, he embodied the rare, mi rare mixture of scientific training and expertise over the years, starting as a fluid dynamicist and more generally and an applied mathematician, then be being a combined applied mathematician, dynamicist and physicist, and then moving even more towards structural mechanics. And for four decades, he was an educator for thousands of students. Now we discuss a little bit first his research activities and then his books. Research activity, these are the areas, the many areas in which more or less he, he, he was active. And uh, here are listed some, uh, uh, some features 
and which are also part of his legacy. Um, a, a global and comprehensive approach to the treatment of problems in engineering sciences and applied mechanics. Interests and contribution ranging from modeling of nonlinear system for the study of dynamical behavior, formulation and solution of the relevant mathematical problems, understanding and description of phenomenological aspects, identification of problems and features common to different fields. And uh, one has to say that in a general context of great specialization of research up to its extreme consequences, this global, though very penetrating in each area feature of NAFIS, NAFIS activity, deserves, in my opinion, a special mention. Uh, four main aspects can be, can be uh, listed. Uh, the, first one, the first one is the fundamental uh, contribution he gave to classical asymptotic methods and their application to nonlinear dynamics of engineering system, but also the importance of addressing those classical topics through the intensive use of modern and comprehensive approach, approaches based on dynamical systems theory. But uh, even though not being an experimental scientist. He was involved with meaningful experimental dynamics, considered as an essential approach for catching the main features of nonlinear behavior. And he was able to enter substantially new research fields, which range from control of nonlinear dynamic behavior of real engineering systems to modeling and nonlinear dynamics of new materials, new application as they occur, for instance, in micromechanics. Now I tentative uh, frame them within some main stages of development of nonlinear dynamics in mechanics, starting more or less from the, from the time of publication of his books, his book on nonlinear oscillations. There was a first, a first, uh, first uh, stage more or less, which of course continued, in which we can refer to nonlinear oscillations uh, treated by analytical techniques, uh, distinguishing systems and models, methods of analysis and solutions, highlighted phenomena and tools using for doing this. So starting with archetypal single degree of freedom oscillators, then moving to discrete systems and continuous structures for which reduced models have been, were developed, starting from single mode, then to multi-mode, uh, from macro to micro. Uh, of course, asymptotics, perturbation, least in Poincaré, but mostly multiple scales. And then uh, a little bit later on, only a normal modes, reconstitution problems, uh, direct approach uh, direct perturbation method versus discretization. Of course, phenomena, all kinds of resonances, regular responses, nonlinear model interaction, energy exchange, and all classical tools for dealing with these, uh, with these issues. Then moving uh, towards uh, the beginning of the, of the 90s, there is a second stage, bifurcations and complex dynamics, dealt with via geometrical and computational techniques, uh, still, uh, still having this uh, kind of distinction. Multimode models, of course, uh, tools of analysis, of bifurcation analysis, continuation, path following, but also global analysis, systematically investigating equilibrium solutions and dynamic solutions, and dealing with uh, strongly nonlinear dynamics phenomena by systematically describing the transition to complex dynamics in both local and global terms. A third stage, more or less uh, coinciding, but here in this, uh, in this scheme a little bit shifted uh, forward was the stage of experimental nonlinear dynamics in which in his lab at, uh, at Virginia Tech with the help of a number of uh, very good students, uh, later on became professors, 
he was, uh, he was involved with uh, experimental dynamics of small scale models, flexible systems. Here are at least the number of them using classical tools of experimental time series analysis and uh, dealing with uh, reg mostly with regular nonlinear dynamics by constructing experimental frequency force response, observing a variety of resonance effect, de detecting transfer of energy from high frequency to a low, to a low frequency mode. The last, the last uh, but not least, uh, area that we can identify is a kind of area in which nonlinear dynamics, in his uh, view, was hybridized with other areas, in particular with control confinement of vibration for a number of systems, microelectromechanical systems, in which he did a lot together with other younger people to enter the new field, the new area, and also in the last uh, years of his activity, energy harvesting, showing how nonlinear dynamics methods and phenomena are transversal to theoretical and physical context, as well as to different technological uh, scales. Uh, then here to summarize all of those, all of those four, four big, uh, areas and periods, more or less, uh, here were somehow addressed in, in the point of view, uh, according to a perspective of, of the need to reduce the dimension of systems using a variety of methods, nonlinear normal modes, and formulating different reduced models uh, with, a, with a backward and forward uh, uh, approach between different uh, Areas. Then let's move to books. Here uh, he wrote 10 books. They are listed here, more or less distinguishing between decades and I would say uh, areas, analytical methods, nonlinear physical aspects, and structural mechanics at the end. Perturbation methods in 1973 was the first one, and then there was the companion one, nonlinear oscillations. These are considered the two most important one. In particular, this one, as we will see, is the most cited one. Uh, this one was, was, was followed by a, a simpler, more, more accessible one and others. Then in the 90s, he wrote together with Bala, Bala Chandran Applied Nonlinear Dynamics. Um, uh, grasping all the advancement that were going on, and then nonlinear interactions, which can uh, all of these books pay more attention to nonlinear physical aspects. And the last one with uh, Frank Pay is more devoted to, to structural mecha mechanics, as we will see in a while. Now I am just uh, going through quite fast through different books to highlight some specific features and novel aspects with respect to their time. For instance, perturbation methods. Here I am citing some of his words from uh, preface uh, or, or other kinds or, or other, um, other points of the book. The different techniques are described using examples, you know, sorry, in order to uh, progress towards complex partial differential equation, examples drawn from different branches of physics and engineering, <laughs> different techniques described as formal procedure without any attempt at justifying them rigorously. This is a more, um, more concise and advanced material. The, here the same material is presented in an elementary way based on his uh, uh, teaching activity at VPI, but uh, anyway, always adding something new with respect to the previous uh, edition or previous uh, book. This is the, the, the book on nonlinear oscillations. The, the, the primary purpose of this book was to fill the void, uh, the, the void of treating with, uh, with multi-degree of freedom systems. So he started dealing with multi-degree of freedom systems here. These are, uh, 
this is, these are more or less the content. I, I would uh, stress uh, the, cha the chapter six, systems having finite degrees of freedom, chapter five, continuous system, chapter A, six, uh, traveling waves. This is a, a further edition. Um, I would, uh, I would uh, stress uh, his, uh, his willingness to concentrate on physical mechanism and effects and to use simple physical examples to explain nonlinear dispersive and non-dispersive waves. This is a classical textbook with uh, nearly uh, 9,000 citations out of a total of about 50,000 as of uh, two days, a couple of days ago on Google Scholar. Uh, then uh, he moved in the 90s he published, together with Bala, as I mentioned before, this, this uh, book on applied nonlinear dynamics and compassing analytical, computational, and experimental methods. So, uh, using the tools of dynamical systems theory, in particular geometrical concepts, local and global bifurcation, continuation methods, also homotopy, <laughs> dealing with chaos and the control of bifurcation and chaos and tools to characterize motions, regular and non-regular ones. These are uh, specific features, but there is no time to go in depth. This is another one, nonlinear interaction. In, in, in the preface, he states that an understanding of dynamic characteristics of a structural system is essential for his design and control and uh, deals with a variety of nonlinear interactions based on various autoparametric and combination resonances, observed experimentally um, another type of, uh, of interaction between a directly excited high frequency mode and, uh, and a low frequency mode accom accompanied by a slow modulation of amplitude and phase of the former, which is a mechanism of great practical importance because energy from high frequency, low amplitude source can be transferred to large amplitude, low frequency modes of supporting structure, resulting in possible harmful oscillations and uh, entailed, entailing decreasing of vibration of a main system and increase of, of its fatigue life to the expense of a sacrificial subsystem, subsystems. In my opinion, this, this is uh, something that I wrote in, uh, in, a, in a book review that I did, uh, that I wrote uh, in, uh, after the, the publication of this, uh, of this book. This book was uh, a kind of continuation and update of nonlinear oscillations, more in the genuine author's attitude of mind than some others of his recent books. Um, he, in this book, he dealt with the discrete versus discretization approach, control strategies, importance of high order approximation, comparing methods for constructing nonlinear normal modes. It is actually a mine of information and, uh, and a word blend of remarkable author's expertise on classical perturbation methods and nonlinear oscillations theory revisited through modern symbolic algebra with tools coming from no modern dynamical system theory and results from experimental investigation. So somehow encompassing all the aspects that he, that he was dealing with over, over the, the, the various decades. Then this is the last one. The last one he published, uh, importa, Importance of Nonlinear Modeling and Dynamic Analysis. Here, uh, mathematically consistent and systematic, and systematic derivation of comprehensive and, refi and refined structural theories are presented, detailing the physical meaning, uh, performing nonlinear structural analysis, importance of nonlinear structural behavior, and, and uh, and so on. Some main common methodological features of his books. 
in my opinion, addressing and presenting topics according to an incremental additive and generally inductive approach through a series of case histories, yet constantly aiming to embed specific outcome concerned with analytical techniques, different methods, different systems, within a possibly unified, comprehensive and comparative framework, illustrating concepts with numerous worked out examples and many exercises, providing a huge amount of references. Just to, to give an idea, this is the, the, from the contents of nonlinear oscillations. This, this is his is way to approach system with cubic nonlinearity, then a number of cases listed. Uh, quadratic and cubic nonlinearities, again a number of cases. Self sustained oscillations, system with finite degrees of freedom. Uh, different kind of, uh, of resonances, the case of omega, uh, omega um, excitation frequency near uh, a, certain, uh, a certain system frequency uh, and so on. A kind of uh, incremental and additive approach. This is the same example from another, from another book dealing with uh, different techniques and uh, different cases examined for, uh, for, uh, for instance, force oscillation with multiple me method of multiple scale. These are other similar, similar examples, according to my view, of this way, of this inductive or incremental way to approach uh, a, huge, a huge amount of uh, topics. But at the same time, as I mentioned, he always stressed about the need to have a kind, to establish a kind of unified framework. All of these are sentences cited from the preface of his books, in which you can see how the words coherent and unified and unique, how many times they appear. Uh, no, of course, a lot of worked out examples and exercises because he, he was always very, he paid always a lot of attention to these aspects. To summarize, one can think of a mathematical approach to nonlinear systems. And of course, out of the two different ways historically pursued to address nonlinear systems, which means via qualitative methods as in Andronov and uh, and follower school with application mostly in radio physics and electrical engineering. And the other one, the analytical one, more quantitative, as in uh, KBM um, school, mostly dealing with problems in nonlinear mechanics, Nafis approach certainly is to be framed in the latter. Um, of course, the methodological and operational contributions on multiple scale he gave in the first part of his scientific career and all over his activity are a fundamental part of his legacy. These holds, notwithstanding some mathematical warnings about pitfalls possibly occurring in the asymptotic of the multiple scale due to the anticipated choice of time scales, as contrasted with uh, other methods like averaging, where, uh, where the time scale emerged by non secularity conditions with no a priori assumptions. But Nafi was most likely aware of, the, of those pitfalls, as witnessed by the stress constantly made on the need to properly select uh, time scales and on the many comparisons he made with equi of equivalent approximations. And if a kind of reservation can be made, the sole possible one, in my opinion, is in the circumstance that Nafi's enormous skill and experience about how properly selecting a priori time scales have uh, in, denote a, a feature of personal exceptionality which is not often encountered also in good scientists. This is uh, the mathematical approach of nonlinear systems. But one can also think of an engineering approach to nonlinear systems. And in this sense, 
Nafi was essentially a scholar of, in engineering science, uh, which while being well acquainted with applied mathematics issue, issues, was fundamentally interested in using his skill and expertise for grasping the nonlinear behavior of mechanical and structural systems, where he gave the most important contribution. Of course, some other characteristic, characterizing aspects of his personality, like the incremental inductive approach of his books, originated criticism from more mathematically and more rigorous uh, scientists uh, nurtured within the dynamical systems environment. But this is again somehow associated with Nafis main nature of a scholar of engineering science. And of course, although possibly questionable, this, uh, this approach for having been brought to its extreme consequences, the inductive perspective, his approach was not too far away from the purpose of studying concrete nonlinear systems with their natural effects, which also inspired more theoretical research on nonlinear dynamics made within both the Andronov and Krylov Bogolyubov school, we always with an attention paid to these unifying aspects. He, he was great in terms of innovation and synthesis, as we can see here. Here I mention, uh, I mention his research activity as a, a rem highly remarkable blend of unrivaled expertise on asymptotic methods and nonlinear oscillations, but also capability to interpret and organize outcomes, both in house and from the literature obtained experimentally, and smart use not, not conception, but use of knowledge and tools from modern dynamical systems theory. And uh, ending with uh, the topic of this uh, symposium, this is, was, this is what uh, La Carbonara wrote in his obituary. He established a new paradigm in higher education engineering practice called nonlinear dynamics to, for design, which seeks to exploit advantageously nonlinear phenomena and principles to enhance the performance of engineering systems. And indeed, the great potential of nonlinear dynamics to enhance performance, effectiveness, reliability, safety has not yet been exploited, fully exploited to the aim of conceiving, developing novel design criteria and related technologies. And in this sense, Ali was among the first to grasp the matter and throw very fruitful seeds in that direction. Please allow me to end with some personal reminds over, uh, over the last few decades, moving from Hamburg, IUTAM 96 in Eindhoven, VPI, Campus do Jordao. You can recognize here a number of, uh, a number of people, uh, Moon, Frank Moon, Hans Stroger, Vladimir Beletsky, Schielen, Van Kampen, uh, Kreuzer, uh, Agedorn, uh, many people, who, some of them should have been here or some of them are here. These are more recent, the IUTAM Symposium in Rome, in Rome in 2003, the Nonlinear Normal Modes Conference with Claude Lamarck, Yuri Miklin, Ali with his wife Samira in the Alps, at a conference in the Alps, and this is his last conference at VPI with uh, Mohamed, Yunis, and uh, and Bala and Walter La Carbonara, Subas Shinya and other people. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much.